Yeah, I suppose Pylos would be a good kind of example um, because I was at uh, a game a um, couple months ago and also at the National Ski Game as well for a cup final and a certain club had like, Pylos going off. But because I was sitting at the accessible area at one of the clubs that I was at, um, this was in the way game, um, then the, the guy behind me were, the guy behind me had kind of like bad asthma. So when they went off, he had to like cover his face with a scarf because, um, well, obviously, if, if you know, that he would get up and gig up in hospital or, you know, whatever. Um, and it's good for that. So it's just the like, other fans to take um, into consideration that, you know, um, you know, um, they should be looking out. For, I mean, that that man that had the, the kind of issue, um, he was actually supporting the same team as this guy setting off the, the pyros. So you would think that he would kick in consideration that, you know, uh, and obviously he, he did not know that he had asthma and power, but I mean, they should really kick it into consideration anyway, because obviously we saw um, what happened up at Dundee a few months ago against Rangers and the whole stand was, it was like a big fire um, and, and, and all that. And, you know, what happens if there was a person with disability case, but also what happens if there was a, a wee boy in there, um, uh, you know, as well, as well. And that might put people off by not going back to football. And that's not what we want. Yeah, no, I would be quite interested to, well, hopefully it never happens, but it would be useful to find out how, um, you know, if we're getting the policies in, in place as well. And, uh, you know, I know that we are talking about like, people in wheelchairs, but like in terms of like people with mobility cases and, and they can't walk very far, and if that happens, well, what do they... You know what I mean? So it's all, all kind of like, yeah, that, that's sweet and interesting because I haven't, again, <laughs> we, are, we are talking about this and you, you've brought something up that I wouldn't have taken a consideration. And I don't mean in a, in a bad way, but I haven't, like, you know, like, thought about that kind of. Yeah, so it's things like that, that um, and, and clubs could pick it on. I was gonna say put it on the website, but yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to frighten people as well, but it would be handy to know, you know, uh, or even the an app or you know, whatever, uh, yeah. or handbook, or or even just put it in the program. And I know this is not, you know just for disabled fans but like uh, and take the take the national ski game for instance it's quite bad at night for the for the lights the lighting when you come out the ski game uh, even maybe like at quarter to five in December it's not I mean you can you can just get it seen but like that's your that's your national ski game you know and you would think they would it would be better than all the other ski games because that's the main one for well that's the home of Scottish football I suppose um, so that's the good for that there yeah because um, there was a few times that I came out I had to kind of like hold on to my dad or whatever good because when you go to Hamden there's a big hill like you walk down um, as well so it's wee things like that that you, you don't really Think about and 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 all that.